guys you're watching everything you need to know about flex deck video number four in this video we're going to address making stencils for your self installation of flex deck most boat manufacturers come with a non-skid pattern already inlaid into the decking of your boat uh, we recommend that you stencil those patterns because it's what adds the character to your boat and your boat manufacturer has already done this aesthetically and symmetrically for your boat uh, so that's the best pattern already there readily available to make the bad thing about these patterns is even when they get wet they're still slippery uh, right off the factory line another thing is spending a day on these non-skid patterns barefooted is going to kill your feet and that's why flex deck is just such a good enhancement for any boat also the older the boat gets these non-skid patterns are going to start to wear thin they're going to start wearing out and they're pretty much impossible to replace if you look at this cobia skiff you'll see there's some areas where the previous owner has made patches uh, you know and it, it just stands out like a sore thumb and it gets thin in certain areas so what a better fix than to replace this with a nice padded colorful um, EVA decking that's going to be more comfortable on your feet and it's going to cover all the blemishes and imperfections. What you're going to need to make stencils first is clear lay. A lot of people refer to this as mylar. You can google it under mylar and you will find this roll eventually but this is actually Duralar uh, clear lay and there are other you know forms of it and name brands of it. We buy it in the bigger roll in the .005 thickness, uh, especially when we're scanning this for a CNC router job. The thicker it is, the more rigid it is, the better it's going to be. Um, the, but the .003 will work. You don't need 40 inches by 25 foot. For a boat up to 18 feet, you can use the 40 inch by 12 foot, which is about $15 to $18 a roll. You can find it on Amazon or other sites, depending on what your Google search comes up with. In the future, we will be offering these as a kit on our uh, website so that you can order everything right there on our site. Um, the next thing you're going to need obviously is a sharpie marker. This is the best thing that you can use to outline and make your uh, your stencil. Then you're going to need a pair of scissors to cut your stencil out and get it ready for tracing. Uh, painter's tape. Blue tape is the best to use. You don't want to use duct tape or anything with an extreme adhesive because you're basically going to stick this down temporarily and then you're going to peel it back up, remove the tape and throw it away. Next thing you're going to need is a straight edge. Can't emphasize enough that this is not rocket science. I prefer to use this drywall blade when I do mine. Uh, it's got a handle already. It fits in down beside the, uh, the walls of the boat or the center console or whatever you need to be going around. And it's not too long. So, you know, it's compatible with, with what you're trying to, uh, to accomplish here. So if you look on the back of this boat, we've already started with a, uh, with a pattern. What you want to do first is you want to cut the, the clear layout in the general shape of the non-skid pattern. You're then going to use the blue tape to tape the outer edges. Give yourself at least an inch to two inches, depending on how much space you have to work with, so that you can place the tape down and you're not drawing over the tape. You first want to hand draw the arches on just the very edge of your non-skid pattern. It's real easy to see and make sure you have a, you know, well-lit area. You want to draw your corners in around each corner. And then you simply take your straight edge. And again, guys, it's not rocket science. Connect the dots, draw it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can, you can have some squiggly lines as long as you know where your mistakes are. Once you've drawn your pattern out, you're simply going to pull this clearly up. And now you're ready to go into the shop and cut it out. When you cut these out, you want to make sure that you leave your line visible because when you cut, you're going to cut on the inside of that line and you don't want a piece hanging over the elevated edge of your non-skid pattern. So that's all we've got for stenciling right now. Check us out for video number five where we're going to go directly into an installer's shop and show you how to trace these uh, stencils onto the material and how to cut it and reshape the edges. So thanks for checking us out.